Hello guys, um, so today we are going to start a new series on theoretical computer science dealing with all the topics in this uh, theoretical computer science. So hope you guys like it. Today I am going to start with a subtopic called as deterministic finite automata or DFA in short. So um, today we are going to see problems of DFA. Now the problems in DFA are basically divided into four types. One is the strings ending with type, one is the string starting with type, one is the substring type and one is the divisibility type. So I am going to try and take a couple of these in this video. So I am going to start with strings ending with, I am going to take an example, for example say strings ending with 100. Zero zero. So what does this mean that the DFA should accept all those strings that end with 100. Zero zero. Before this anything is fine but if it ends with 100 zero zero, the DFA should accept this. So I am going to teach you guys a new method and it is a very effective method. So I am going to start now. So first I will make the mathematical model. The mathematical model is Q sigma del Q0 F. So um, now for the Q part, I am going to take four states. How to, states, how to take the states I am going to teach you now. So first I am going to take the initial state Q0. And I am going to take a state q1 for strings ending with 1, strings ending with 1. Then, then I am going to take a state q2, strings ending with 1, 0 and the last state q3, strings ending with 1 0 0. So, we are going to take 3 states depending on this you can take these states initial ending with 1, ending with 1 0, ending with 1 0 1. Now, as we know our input alphabet is 0 1, my q 0 is going to be q 0 and of course my final state as you want strings ending with 1 0 0 is q 3 our final state will be our final state will be Q3. Now all we have to all we have left is to calculate the transition function. So I'm going to start calculating transition function. I'm going to do that with the help of um, first I'm going to draw a transition table. So how to draw a transition table? So what we do is on this side we write all the states and on y axis we write all the states and on x axis we write all the input alphabet. So I am going to write 0 and 1 here and q0, q1, q2 and q3 here. So guys this is where the new method comes in, this is a little different but it may, it, all the problems become really easy to solve. So now what I am what I'm going to do is uh, since this is the initial state, I am going to write an epsilon beside this. Uh, since q1 ends with 1, I am going to write a 1 here. For this similarly, I will write a 1 0 and for this I will write a 1 0 0. So what I am going to do is, I am going to consider these two simultaneously and see if that lies within our states. For example, first I am going to consider sigma 0. Can we see sigma 0 anywhere here? No. Sorry, epsilon 0. So, uh, is there epsilon 0 anywhere here? No. So, I am going to first cut my epsilon. Then I check 0. Can I find 0 anywhere here? No, right? So, I am going to cut this. So if all states are cut, then we send it to q0. Similarly, I am going to do it for epsilon 1. Is epsilon 1 available anywhere? No. So, I am going to cut the first one, 1, is 1 available? Yes, and 1 corresponds to Q1. So, when Q0 encounters 1, it should go to Q1. Similarly, I am going to do this for all others. Uh, so, here I am going to do 1, 0. Do I find 1, 0 here? Yes. So, this will go to Q2, 1, 1, 1, 1. 
uh, there is no one one, so I'm gonna cut this one. Yes, Q one. One zero zero is one zero zero present. Yes, so it's gonna go to Q three. One zero one is one zero one present. No, cut. Is zero one present? No, cut. Is one present? Yes. So it's gonna go to Q one. Similarly, one zero zero zero, not present. So I'm gonna cut this. Not present. Not present. Not present. So I'm gonna send this to Q zero, and one zero zero one. Um, one zero zero one is not present. So I'm gonna cut this. Zero zero one not present, not present. But one is present, so I'm going to send this to Q one. So this is our transition table. Uh, and looking at the transition table, we're going to make a transition diagram. So I'm I'm just going to make Q zero, Q one, Q two. And Q three. So, um, so on zero, this goes stays in the same state. On one, it goes to Q one. Similarly, Q one on zero goes to Q two. Q one on one remains in Q one. Q two on zero goes to Q three. Q two on one goes to Q one. Q three on zero goes to Q zero, and Q three on one goes to Q one. Um. Okay. So Q three is our final state. This is our initial state. Um. Now, how do we check if our diagram is right? So I'm going to take a small example and verify. So let us consider any string ending with one zero zero. For example, one zero, one zero zero. So Q, uh, our initial state is Q zero. So first, first when one comes, it'll go to Q one. Then when a zero comes, it'll go to Q two. Then when a one comes, it'll go to Q one. And when a zero comes, it'll go to Q two. And again, when a zero comes, it'll go to Q three. So our strings ended, and since Q three is our final state, this will be accepted. Let us consider another string, which does not end. For example, one zero one zero one. So similarly, initially we had the Q zero. So on one will go to Q one, on zero will go to Q two. Again on one will go to Q one, on zero will go to Q two, but on one it will go to Q one. So we stopped at Q one since this is not the final state. This string will be rejected. Moreover, because this was strings ending with, and we took Q three as strings ending with one zero one, we made this the final state. If you want to do strings not ending with strings not ending with one zero one, for example, strings not ending with one zero zero. All you have to do, you have to perform exact the same same logic. Everything has to remain the same, except you make Q zero, Q one, Q three the final states. Just make Q zero, Q one, and Q two as final states. Everything else remains the same. So this is one of the examples. I'm gonna cover the rest in uh, other tutorials. So thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe. and happy learning